Hi guys, Hannah here and welcome to my channel. Um, so this is my very first video. I'm going to be doing a full Model Horse collection tour. Um, super exciting. I haven't filmed a Model Horse video in probably 11 or 12 months, so almost a whole year. Uh, I used to film Model Horse videos. You probably recognize my voice from my old channel, Horse Girl 27. I had that channel for probably six or five to six years. Uh, I still have that channel, or I still have that account. I just switched the contents to my equestrian account um, for my real horse. So Hannah underscore equestrian is my new account. Um, it used to be Horse Girl Twenty Seven, um, but I quit filming model horse videos at the beginning of this year because I wasn't really motivated to film model horse videos, and I kind of stepped back from the model horse hobby. Um, because I'm 16 now, I'm in high school, I'm a junior in high school, and I just didn't have the time nor motivation for model horses, and um, since getting my real horse, I, I've i learned that there's money spent in better ways than on model horses, which I still have all my models um, I previously had from my old channel, and I haven't sold any of them. I still love all of them with um, all my heart. It's just my horse, he's been lame all year, so I've been spending more money on my horse than I have on model horses, which also I think um, affected my motivation for filming model horse videos. Um, so I quit doing model horse videos for pretty much the entire year, but now I kind of want to get back into filming model horse videos. I've kind of missed it these past few months, and I've been thinking about starting a channel and I created a channel specifically for model horses, which is this account, and then I just sat dormant for pretty much a month, and I kind of forgot about it until this weekend, and I was going to film a video two days ago, but I just haven't found the time until now. So, let's get on with the video. I'm going to be filming a full model horse collection tour for you guys, so I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get on with the video. So these are my briar horse shelves. I have a traditional shelf and then I have my classics and stablemate shelves. And then on the other side of my room I have my Schleich shelf. So we're going to start off with my stablemates first. So right down here on my bottom shelf I have my stablemate foals. So I have um, these two trotting foals. I don't really remember their names, so I do apologize if I forget some of their names. I am really bad at this, and I've lost a lot of knowledge over the duration of the year um, on model horses, so I do apologize if I forget any of their names or their breeds. Um, but then over here, I have my prancing foal conga, I believe. Um, so I have two black fillies, and then I have a palmino overo filly. And then I have my two scratching foals over here. I believe the Appaloosa's name was Blossom and the Pinto's name was River, but I can't be, sure, be certain on that. So I do apologize. So up here I have Onyx, my Frisian Stallion, and Trooper, my Cobb Stallion. I believe the mole name is actually a Frisian, but um, I call it a Cobb because Frisians can't really be a dark bay color. So we're just going to say it's a Cobb for now. And then I have Tiberius or Ty, who's a Frisian sport horse on the Django mold, I believe. And he's actually named after my real horse um, in real life. Then I have Sterling, who is on a newer mold, if I remember correctly. I think it's a Welsh cob mold. Then I have Little Texas um, in the middle of everyone. I have Dawn. I believe, and she's a Hanoverian, and then I have this little pacer here, I forgot his name, um, and then I have, um, Indigo, if I remember correctly, and he's a Mustang Stallion. So up here I have the majority of my darker colored horses, um, was not planned to have my shelf like this, but it just kind of happened, so I have my Indolusion Stallion here. Um, another Hanoverian over here, and then I have this Appaloosa Mustang, who I believe was named Ace. Um, I have Luna here and Melody, my Morgans. 
And then I have Amber and Sprinkle, my Pertrons. And then I have Star, my Tennessee Walker. So up here I have a Saddlebred Mare. Um, I have a Arrow and Falcon, I believe. And they're in the Dutch Warmblood Stallion mold. And then I have Breeze, who's my Appaloosa Mare. Whisper, my Quarter Horse Mare on the Loping Quarter Horse mold. Then I have Cupcake and Cookie, my little Highland Ponies. Then I have Caspian and Zodiac on the Thoroughbred Gelding mold. So up here I have my Arabians and other various horses. So I have Bullet, who's um, on the Arabian Stallion mold. And then I have these two guys. I believe the buckskin was named Cielo, which means sky in Spanish. I don't remember the other guy's name, though. And then I have these two Arabian mares. Uh, I have this guy, which is named December. Um, and then I have these two Peruvian Pasos. I believe the Roan's name was Summer. And then I have this little unicorn guy that I don't think I ever gave a name to, but I got him at Walmart because he was super cute. And he's my very first unicorn. So up here on the very top of my um, tower shelf, it's very hard to get to, so sorry if the camera is a little bit shaky, um, but here are my two Mustang Stallions. Then I have these two draft horses. I don't remember their names. And then I have my Cantering and Warm Blood Conga, which is like my favorite stalemate mold ever. So I have Piper, Violet, Primrose, and then Picasso. I remember all their names. Um, and then in the back we have my Quarter Horse Conga, which I don't really remember any of their names. But I have um, various colors of them. And then I have my American Pharaoh, and then I have a Pasifino and an Australian stock horse up here. So now we're going to move on to my Briar Classics. I don't remember any of these guys' names really, so I'm just going to scan through them. Um, I believe this girl is Harper, who was one of the horses of the years. I don't remember which year though. And then I have this girl who's in some old tack that I made for her. Down here I have one of my few decorator models, and then a couple of Arabians. Then down here I have my American Pharaoh and my little ponies. And then down here I have all my classic foals, and then I just have some various horses with tack on. And on the last shelf I have some of my very first Briar Classics. These four were my very first Briar Classics that I ever owned. Um, I don't really remember any of their names, but they are the very first four that I ever got. So now we're going to move on to my Briar Traditionals. Um, I only have 20 Briar Traditionals, but that is still a good number in my opinion. So my very bottom shelf is my racehorse shelf, so I have all my racehorse thoroughbreds here. So I have American Pharaoh, who was my very first Briar Traditional ever. I got him for Christmas of 2016. I have Secretariat, who was a grail of mine since I started collecting model horses. Um, I have Justify, and I have California Chrome, who is one of my very favorites. So up here I have Rhapsody in Black, who does not stand for the life of her, so she does lean on my shelf. Um, I have Snowman wearing a halter that I made him a long time ago. I have Huynh, Slick by Design, Don't Look Twice. Sarah Monet, who is my second ever Briar traditional, Gigi Valentine, and her Colt Heartbreaker. Up on this shelf, I have Baby Flo, and she's in Barrel Racing Tack. Then I have Easy to Spot, I believe is his name, and he's just wearing some English bridle and bell boots, who, which are too big for his pony feet. Then I have Stella, who was a tractor supply model from 2019, maybe? Um, and then I have Empress Beachcomber, who is a 2017 tractor supply model. Paint Me a Pepto, Picasso, and my very beloved SBH Phoenix. I also forgot to mention I do have two stalemates on my other shelf next to my desk that don't fit on my stalemate shelves. So here I have Denver, who is a Lusitano, I believe. And then down here I have Albion, who's on the Gypsy Vanner mold. 
So now we're going to move on to my Schleich models. I have around 56 Schleich models, so I'm going to try and get through them pretty quickly. Um, and some of them do have show names, and I will say their show names if they if I can remember them. Um, but please don't steal any of my show names. I've had problems with that in the past, and I really don't want that to happen again. Um, but here is Max. He's my Shire Stallion. I have Rocky, my Clydesdale gelding. Um, this girl, which is a really sad story, she kind of leans to the side because her front leg is warped really badly, so she kind of falls over. Um, but she is Dreamer. We have Ty and Bella, my Tinkers. Midnight and Luna, my Frisians. And then I have Jericho, who's my German Black Force, and he was my second Schlick model. Up here I have Rosie and Odyssey, my Quarter Horse Mares, Storm, my Holsteiner Gelding, Chance, my Hanoverian Gelding, um, Checkers, and Prince, my Hanoverian Stallions, April, my Hanoverian Mare, and Autumn, my Hanoverian Mare as well. Then up here I have some foals, so I have Milo, Tilly, who is my first ever like model, Cloudy, and um, Gracie. So moving on to the second side, we have Apollo, my Tennessee Walker Stallion, Spartan and Blizzard, my Tennessee Walker Geldings, and Harmony and Honey, my Tennessee Walker Mares. Then I have Zeus, my Trackner Stallion, Beauty, my Trackner Mare, and Paris, my English Thoroughbred Mare. Then up here I have Daisy, or Living Image, I believe was her show name, and she's the retired Lipizzaner Mare. And uh, Winter or Winter Wonderland, my newer Lupus Honor Mare. I have S'mores, Spring, and Joy, who are all my Pinto Mares. Then I have Sterling, my Pinto Gelding, and Spirit, my Pinto Stallion. Then I have Aspen and Inferno, my Mustangs. A period of Daisy, or not Daisy, excuse me, Princess, Violet, May, and Stormy. Now onto the very last shelf, which is um, on the ground, so it's kind of hard and to see, and it's kind of dark down here. But we have Lilac, my Nab Sharper Mare, River, my Indelusion Stallion, Pandora, my Appaloosa Mare. Um, I do not remember this girl's name for the life of me, but I believe she's the Morgan Mare. Um, Blackie, my Arabian Stallion, which his name is actually named after a real horse I used to ride before he passed. Um, Angel, my Arabian Mare, and, uh, Dakota, my Pentabian Mare. Then up here we have Lucky, Ruby, and Clover, my Halflingers. Summer, my Fjord, and then Casper, my Welsh Pony, and, um... Hershey and Fudge, my Icelandics. Then up here I have my little pony. So I have Teddy, Cream, and Cinnamon, my Shetland ponies. Then I have Spice, Minnie, and Pumpkin, my miniature Shetlands. And then I have my two little dogs up here. Um, my two little Schleich dogs, should I say. Um, so those are my Schleich models. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, don't forget to make sure and like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!